what up, what up, what up? Checking in with another one. Actually headed to go run. About to go jog, do a late night jog. Listen, this is something I was thinking about today, right? I didn't I didn't go in today. I didn't go to my full-time job. I should have. I should have went, but I didn't go, but I should have went. Right. Now look, so this was something I did. I kind of just relaxed, put my feet up. And I end up buying this book, and I end up completing a whole book today, right? I, I, I want to show y'all something. Like I say, when I read books, I like to read spiritual books, business books. That's, that's the only two books I'm reading. Spiritual business, spiritual business, spiritual business. That's, uh, that's the only two things I really care about. Spiritual business, spiritual business. All right, so I, I read the spiritual book today, and it was a book on marriage. On, uh, you know, what to expect, what not to expect, and how people can expect one thing, how people can expect some things from their partner that they don't understand because y'all grew up different. You can grow up in the church or in the street, but it was some things along the way of your life that you participated in and done, and where you are at today, you see things in a different light. Uh, I'm going to try to give you my best example on where well, I, I can't because everybody grew up different so I can't um, really dive in too deep with the book on far as uh, it, it opened my eyes to a few things it did, it opened my eyes to a few things and I believe it helped me in my marriage but I'm not this This video is not about the book this video is about this, this generation when you go places you see everybody head is down on their phone I'm going to be honest. If I was not married and didn't have kids, I would not have a cell. And if I didn't have a business, I would not have a cell phone. I really wouldn't. Because it's, 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 it's counterproductive. You can't be... I'm not going to say you can't because in a sense you can be productive with it. Like I remember when I was single, I had cable television, right? And I had like a whole bunch of channels. I was paying like $200 a month for this... For this... Uh, this... Uh, this cable thing I had, I had all the, I had all the movie channels, sports channel, I had everything, and I was paying two hundred a month. And this is when I went on my book journey. This was in twenty thirteen or twenty twelve. I canceled my subscription on cable, so when I would come home, I didn't have cable, right? And only my bad, I was getting a call. I, I canceled my cable, and when I would come home, I wouldn't have cable which led me to start reading books. And I started reading book after book after book after book after book after book. I set my budget for books for $200 a month because that's what I was spending on cable. But I was ordering all hard copy books. I had to wait for them to get in versus now I read on Kindle. Listen, go on your phone and look, and, and, and look to see which app you spend the most time on. Look at what app you constantly scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. That could be Facebook, that could be YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, talking on the phone. Like, what are you accomplishing day to day to day? Listen, I like to be productive every day. Sunday to Sunday, I like to be productive. If I'm not working on a Sunday, I'm fixing to read a book. I go to work Monday, and I normally work every day. I am a productive man. You cannot take me and sit me down for four or five days. It's not going to happen. I'm going to be angry. I'm going to be grouchy. I'm not going to be pleasant to be around because I am a productive man. That's, that's the type of guy that I am. And what I'm trying to say is it's so easy to surpass everybody in this generation because 90% of the people in this generation is lazy. They constantly spend time on, on, on social media, talking on the phone. They're wasting time. You're wasting time and life is steady passing you by. Like I put in that other video, you constantly scrolling on, on Facebook. You're looking at this person. They got a successful business, but they treat their workers like trash. Well, it's obvious they're not sitting there constantly scrolling on Facebook nonstop. They're putting plans in motion. When you see them on Facebook, you're seeing the highlight reel of their life. You're seeing the highlight reel. The good times. But when you don't see them, they got their nose to the grind. A lot of people, don't, listen, like I say, a lot of people don't want to, they don't want to put that time and effort in. 
But I'm just, it's, it's, it's sad, man, because when you look at, like, some people have the potential to be great and do things to be great. Some people have gifts, but they won't exercise them because they're constantly consumed with partying and social media. That's what they are consumed with. I met this pastor. I'm, I'm about to finish this video. I'm about to actually get out of the car. I met this pastor. He was an awesome salesman. People said he have, had a silver tongue. He said, man, and I sold insurance. He said, and he said, I was the man for insurance. I could sell water to a fish. He said, but deep down inside, I knew I was supposed to be presenting the gospel. He said, so after I made all the money I could make and buy everything I wanted to buy, I was still empty inside because I knew I wasn't chasing my God-given purpose. What is your God-given purpose? Don't sit here and tell me it's to make YouTube videos nonstop. Are you getting paid to make YouTube videos? Are you getting paid to scroll them and post on Facebook? Are you getting paid to post on TikTok? Man, life is short. You need to be productive every single day of your life. Every single day of your life, you need to be productive. So look, I'm just dropping this video. I just wanted people to really sit down and think about that. Like, what, where are you wasting your time at? Where is you wasting your time at? And if you're not wasting your time, because when everything's said and done, when you're getting ready to leave this earth, you don't want to leave, you don't want to leave nothing undone. As me, when everything is said and done, I want my key, I want my daughters to say, man, I wouldn't mind marrying a man like my father. I want my wife to say, man, he was truly good to me. And and and, and like marriage is work. Marriage is one of the hardest things I've ever done. That's why I constantly read books to try to better and strengthen my marriage. My marriage isn't perfect. I still have a lot of work to do in my marriage. I can put my wife on this phone right now. And I'm sure she will have some complaints about things she wants to see me change. But if I'm striving to make that change, man, everything's good because you're not you're not going to find a perfect spouse. But like I said, man, everything and everything you do, man, just try to be the best at it. Constantly change and constantly grow. I'm out, y'all. I got to hit it.